Hello, welcome back to our job site. I am Just Ask Bob. More brick problems. This is very common around porches. The technical term is spalding. The face just chips right off. As you can see, nothing to, nothing to it at all. It's like a root canal, complete extraction. Brick comes out, new brick goes in. And just as a side note, homeowners, now if you're doing it yourself, Pay attention, if you're hiring a contractor or a bricklayer, make sure you tell them because most won't care. They'll buy whatever bricks on sale. This is referred to as a bark brick. It's got the bark texture, not a smart design. Think about it. The rain, the snow, the water, it collects, it freezes, it pops the bark off and splits the face. I recommend using a brick that's got a more smoother surface. Very important. Now we've got something we've actually already started over here. We're here under the porch. Anchor after anchor after anchor. I don't know what they hung here. And these are the old lead anchors. Now there's quite a few of them. Uh, the ones that are in the mortar joint, not a big deal. We can fill them in with gray. Now they're not easy to get out. Let's go through a few different methods. Not everything works every time. We've got a drill. We've got a drill bit that's a little bit bigger in diameter. Sometimes you can actually put in the drill, reverse it and back out the anchor. Let's see. Now we'll put it in reverse. No, drill's useless in this case. Still my favorite drill. Another idea, what do we got here? Needle nose pliers. Sometimes you can wiggle it out. Now these are in very good. Last resort, we're gonna sink it. Now we've done that with this one. If you can see right in here, we've sunk it about a half an inch. Now, you want to make sure you're using a mason's coal chisel. Must be a coal chisel. So you want to get it on there. The point is you want to break off the edges, bang it and bang it, get it in at least a half an inch. We're going to be parging it or tuck pointing it, so to speak. Now we have gray mortar. We have red mortar. Let's start with the gray. Okay, for such a small amount here, we can pinch it in. Now again, you have to remember, it's all about penetration. You don't want it sitting on the edge. Push it in. This has to set for at least an hour before you smooth it out and tool it. Okay, that's the gray. Let's see how the red looks. Now again, you want to get it right in. It's not going to hurt using your fingers. Even using the back end tip of the trowel, I'm going to end up making a mess. Okay, now that has to set for an hour. Now like I tell everybody, it's not my home, it's my customer's home. I'm offering them a choice. We're going to let that set over the weekend. When I see the homeowners on Monday, they're going to say, Bob, we prefer the gray, and in that case, I pull off the red, I fill it with gray, or vice versa. You're not going to get a perfect match. The reason is, you cannot leave these here. The water gets in, freezes in the winter, expands, spalls, and pops the brick off. Not good at all. I'm Just Ask Bob. Thank you for watching. Watch us every night, Monday night, starting at 530.